Now this is temporary, quick, easy, cheap. If we don't like it in one area one year, we can put it in another area the next year. Just kind of curious what you guys do and how you stack your firewood. We don't have a big, nice, fancy wood shed. So. Let's go ahead and talk firewood. This is what happens when you have a firewood spill. Nothing bad for the environment. It's not like an oil spill. So I don't mind when my heating sauce has a spill. The environment don't either. We went ahead and we got enough firewood to last us two years. We got 10 cords of firewood this year. So I'm just gonna talk to you guys a little bit about how we store it and keep it dry throughout the season so it'll last and we don't have to deal with getting snow off it all the time. I call these my firewood pods. They hold about one and a half cords of wood and the nice rounded top is easy to keep the snow off of it. So I, I got the pod right over here that I'm just about getting ready to fill up. I'll show you what they're made out of. I just take two pallets, some more cattle panel. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I love this stuff. We use it all over the place at the homestead. Bend it in half. I just put a few heavy duty staples in. Seven staples per side. I throw some firewood on the outside edge on both ends. And then I make three rows of firewood. So you guys can see one, two, three. So one thing you definitely need to do is get a board, run it the whole length of it, secure it on both ends. What that does, it keeps the cattle panel from bowing and it keeps it from popping out the staples on the bottom. Last year, the first one I did, I had an issue. So I put the board in and I had very good success. I haven't had any other issues with stacking the wood this way. We just stack it up as high as we can. And then I just keep the top over it, cover the edges a little bit, keep all the rain off the top. If it doesn't come all the way down, it's fine. We used these last year, we had really good luck with them. The reason why I really like them is using the cattle panel, you got something to hold the firewood. You don't gotta worry about your piles tipping over on you. So you don't have to have good ends. I like to just throw my wood in there, be fast, get it done. I got too much stuff going on to take my time and make the nice fancy ends. And if you, I do, I've had them fall over in the past and it's a pain. And I just put the top over it. And the other reason why I really like the dome thing, we get a lot of snow up here. I don't want to have to be shoveling off my wood piles all the time to go get my firewood. So this, it falls off. And if it doesn't, I can just take a broom, sweep it off. And I don't have to worry about it. It's nice and it's easy. The rain, you don't have to worry about it raining and then getting like a couple of inches, six inches of ice on top of your firewood when it freezes back up. Or if you got, a lot of people use a piece of tin and have a bunch, bunch of ice left up on the tin. I don't like that. This little dome works really nice. It slides right down. Very convenient. Last year was our first year trying it this way. It worked awesome. We had really good luck with it. Just kind of curious what you guys do and how you stack your firewood. We don't have a big, nice, fancy wood shed, so this is temporary, quick, easy, cheap. If we don't like it in one area one year, we can put it in another area the next year. So it's very handy, inexpensive, and it does the job. It's very convenient. So leave it down in the comments below. Just curious how you guys stack your wood and how you store it for the winter time and what you do and what you have had luck with and what you don't. I'm always curious, maybe there's a better option than what we're doing. I'd love to hear it. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I look forward to your comments down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres.